I'm Bruce Silvora, host of Built to Last. Please visit us at builttolasttv.com to learn more about the show. Our filming this season took us to the New Salvation Army Freedom Center, located in West Humboldt Park in Chicago, Illinois. There is a great deal of floor covering that needed to be installed across the new 200,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility. The floor covering installer selected for the project was Mr. David's Flooring of Itasca, Illinois. And I'm here today with Tom Nowicki, to kind of go through some of the key elements in a floor covering installation that took place. Tom, could you explain a little bit about some of the things that took place there? We really concentrated on all aspects of flooring for the project. We did a lot of sheet vinyl, we did some carpet tile, some vinyl base, some moisture testing, and pretty much gave the overall scope of flooring. Tom, you mentioned and stressed about the importance of moisture testing. What is actually involved in it and the reason for it? Well, Bruce, with today's adhesives being green in nature, they don't stick as well as they did in the past. So testing for moisture is a very important thing that we have to do with all flooring materials. Some materials require less than others. We take a test and then we identify what the problem is before it's a problem. Is it a very simple test, complex test? What's really involved with this? Well, we have two tests that we do. There's a calcium chloride test and then there's a slab test. The calcium chloride test just takes the readings from the top of the slab itself, which doesn't give you any indication of what's going to happen. It only gives you the actual now feature of what it is. The, the slab test, you're getting 60% into the slab. So you're, you're kind of gauging where, where it is at that point, what could possibly happen, bringing it up and down as things move, because concrete is like a living organism. It, it breathes and things can fluctuate. We prefer the slab test because it kind of gives you an idea of what's ahead as opposed to the calcium chloride which tells you what it is at that moment. So is this something you just kind of pick a general area so it's not, you don't have to do the whole building or what right. is um, determined? I would say, you know, larger scale job, you want to throw down probably five to six tests in a one, you know, big given area. Vary it uh, close to the wall, out in the middle of the open, so you're not bound to one result. Is this a standard procedure you take on every job? Yes, we have a, a team dedicated just to testing. That happens prior to us getting on site and installing, so if there's any indication of a problem, it's addressed immediately. So as far as readings, what do you look for to determine whether or not you could do an installation? I'm sure this varies based on the flooring product. The probe testing is done with the relative humidity. Your sheet vinyl product is going to be real finicky, somewhere right in the 75% relative humidity range. So if the concrete wasn't treated and an installation took place, what would end up being the result? Well, it would look good initially. <laughs> you know, sure. in you know, six months from now, you might have a different result as climate changes. As you go in from winter to spring, from summer to fall, things happen in the atmosphere and what you start to see is some bubbling. The moisture would get trapped in between the top of the slab and your end product. So as that builds up, it actually pushes the material up and then you have a, you have a failure on your hands. So as a first step before any installation, testing is a very important element. It is the most important. I appreciate it, Tom. Thank you. Thanks, guys.